بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم The most beautiful names of Allah Allah الوارث السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear brothers and sisters My name is Zainab And today we will learn about Allah الوارث Allah الوارث The inheritor who is Allah al warith How to increase in knowledge. Qur Rabbi Zidni Ilma. And say, My Lord, increase me in knowledge. We ask Allah to always increase us in knowledge. We cannot stop learning about Allah and we always want to talk about him because this is what remains. This is the true inheritance. What remains in this life when we learn about Allah, when we learn the Quran, talk about it. And when we do good deeds. Sometimes in life we learn things and buy things. But what remains? Anything that brings us closer to, closer to Allah, such as when we learn about Allah. When we think of Him, when we do good, when we reflect on things around us and and. It reminds us, us of Allah. Do you know which name we will learn today? Allah al waris the inheritor. Every name we learn will bring us closer to Allah. Allah al waris is the one who Everything will return back to him. Imagine someone who works and saves his money and places it in a bank. What will happen with his money? Will it always stay with him? No. When he passes away, who will take his money? Either his children or family members or it gets transferred to someone else. They will, they will inherit his money. There are people who receive things without working for it. For example, they can receive money or property. This means an inheritor in the dunya. Allah al is the is the one who always remains and never goes away. Allah will inherit everything and it will all return to him because he is the one who gave it to us in the first place. Allah owns the mountains, the sun, sky, and all the homes, and it will all return to him. Allah al waris is the one who gives inheritance whomever he wills. For example, when someone passes away and there is a home left behind, who will distribute it to others? Allah al Waris. Allah al Waris is the one who makes others inherit. For example, Allah not only makes the people inherit wealth, but they can inherit traits from their parents, such as the color of their eyes or how they look. So we should not be upset if we look a certain way because this is what Allah made 
us to inherit. Allah al Warith can even make us inherit knowledge and good deeds. For example, someone might use to do something good and then they pass away. So someone else takes their rule and continues to do the same. Another example of inheritance is when the messengers taught us about Allah and to have good manners. The messengers have all died, but the people have inherited from their knowledge and being a good example. The greatest inheritance is the Inher inheritance of the prophets which includes knowledge good deeds and good manners this is true inheritance for example when the parents pray and they teach their children to pray then when the parents pass away at least they passed on the inheritance of teaching their children to pray to Allah, know about Allah and have good manners. This is a greater inheritance than just inheriting money. The greatest inheritance is when Allah teaches us about from his book teaches us about him and teaches us to do good when we see something or hear something that reminds us of Allah then this remains and that itself is an inheritance as well Dua to enjoy the blessings we have. Allahumma mati'na bi asma'ina wa absarina wa quwatina ma ahyitana wa ja'alhu alwaritha minna. Oh Allah! Let us enjoy our hearing, our sight, and our power as long as you keep us alive and make it the inheritor of us. We want to hear, see, speak, and get continuous reward. And the greatest inheritance is when Allah makes us inherit the greatest level of Jannah which is called Firdaus al-A'la Surah Al-Mu'minun 10 to 11 Ula'ika humul warithun Those are the inheritors Al-lazina yarithun al-Firdaus هم فيها خالدون. Who will inherit El Firdos? They will abide therein eternally. The best palaces, gardens, food, and drinks are in Firdos El Aala. Its ceiling is the throne of Allah and it Dwellers will see the face of Allah twice in a day. We ask Allah al Warith to grant us Firdaus al A'la. When we believe Allah is al Warith, what should we do? To not attach to the dunya, but always believe. In Allah because that is the true inheritance that remains to always do good follow the messengers and take from their knowledge 
The greatest inheritance is the Quran, which we want to learn and act on it. To ask Allah al waris to admit us to Firdaus al-A'la. We love Allah al waris